Hey everybody, Reed from Top Stitch Games here with Treadknot's Advanced Techniques Volume 2. Uh, if you haven't done Volume 1 yet, go ahead and check that out and then come meet me here in the lobby. So last time I showed y'all the difference between a full hop and a short hop. Uh, one thing I didn't touch on is that when you do a short hop, it actually gives you an extra air charge. Let's you do another double jump. You can actually do a triple jump. Whereas if I do a full hop, I only get one of those. Um, air jumps are really useful for changing direction in the air. You could do something like this, go this way, this way, oh, whoops. You could do uh, like that. They're also really useful uh, for doing mix-ups, like cross-ups, stuff like that. Like I could go in here, do a little stutter. So that's definitely worth trying. Uh, if you can't already, I would try doing five triple jumps, just like that, short hop, jump, jump. Another really, really useful skill for getting and staying in the air is doing a charge shot. Charge shot's also useful uh, for getting ceiling campers or people that have a uh, height advantage on you while you're playing. To do a charge shot, you just hold down that shoot button and keep holding it. And you'll notice when your cannon's pointing straight up, it'll start to charge up before it releases. Um, what you might not know is that that also gives you extra recoil. So if you do a rocket jump with a charged bullet, it's really gonna send you flying. Uh, another thing worth noting is that the way that the recoil works, you'll get a flat amount of recoil just for shooting at any time. Right here, I'll get some recoil. But uh, you also get uh, some knockback from your own explosions. So I'll get more air from doing that than I will from doing this. And uh, by, the, by the same note, I'll get maximum height by doing a charge shot and then letting it go right when I'm close to the ground. That's something else you can use to get a little more variety in your play and get a little more bang for your buck out of, out of just one bullet. Uh, the last thing I want to show you guys is what's called the spring hop. The spring hop or the spring jump is newer tech. We actually patched it in a couple patches ago. Um, and the general idea is that if you jump right after you land, okay, like I'm doing here, you'll notice that some extra particles spawn by your treads and you actually get more height. So it's a way for you to quickly get back into the air after you're coming down from a jump. Um, and if you combine that with a short hop, you can get essentially the same height you would from a full hop off of a short hop. So I can do that. Oops, oh, that was a full one. I can do this. There we go. And uh, that's really useful for getting a lot of height, getting the same amount of height you would out of a full hop while still getting that extra air charge, that extra double or triple jump in the air. So you can see here, I'm doing what looks like a full hop using the spring jump, but I also get to keep my two air charges. Very, very useful. Um, I do that a lot, more, maybe more often than not, when I can. Uh, so once you've uh, practiced those basic uh, elements, you can try stringing them together, not only with themselves, but also with some of the things you learned last week. Like uh, try doing that full charge and consistently doing a rocket jump with that. I'd say try and hit five of those if you can't already. Once you've hit five of those in a row, you can try doing a short hop and then launching and chaining that with a charge shot. So something like this. And if you can consistently hit five of those in a row, I think you'll probably be in a pretty good place. That's it for this week. Uh, enjoy trying out those advanced techniques and we'll have more for y'all next time.